Hi, Stephen from Xlim Tech News. Today, I'm going to do it just to a quick test on uh, using a micro SD card uh, to uh, load my games on and see what type of performance hit we take, um, how much longer it takes to, to, to load the games, and uh, does it impact the uh, frames per second at all, comparing it to a PCI Express SSD that's in a thin and light laptop. Because as you know, some of these thin and light laptops, like the Dell XPS 13, start like $1,000 for 128 gigabytes as that model, and they charge an extra $200 for the 256, um, which gets quite expensive. And uh, the only upgrade options you have is either you uh, take it apart, put another SSD in yourself and perhaps risk the, uh, the warranty, and some people may not be comfortable doing that anyhow, um, so those uh, thinner light laptops often come with a micro SD card. So uh, what I do is I uh, time it by on three different. I do different, three different games. I do Left 4 Dead 2, uh, both single player and multiplayer. Rise of the Tomb Raider, which of course is a single player, and Battlefield 1 at single player and multiplayer. And I uh, start the clock um, as soon as the uh, I, I press the uh, the icon for the game, and uh, and I stop the clock. Uh, when uh, it, the game actually starts, and you can actually move your character around, and uh, and I measure the frames per second using uh, Fraps. So let's uh, take a look at the results. Um, the orange is the uh, PCI Express SSD, and the blue is the uh, micro SD card. Um, so Left 4 Dead 2 single player campaign, um, the uh, PCI Express SSD took, uh, takes 28 seconds uh, to uh, to load up the game compared to 42 seconds using the micro SD card. Uh, the frames per second, 90 to 77, a little bit of a hit, but that could be due to the part of the game that uh, it was measuring. And the Left 4 Dead 2 multiplayer, we actually do see a reversal here. We got 44 seconds to load up the single player, uh, the uh, uh, SSD, and uh, 24 seconds to load up from the micro SD card. But of course, this is multiplayer, and it, lots of, a lot of it just relies on uh, the server speed that you're, you're going into. So, and again, the frames per second actually echo pretty much what we got on the single player campaign. In uh, Battlefield 1, the single player, we get uh, 117 seconds on the uh, PCI Express SSD and 128 seconds on uh, using the micro SD card. And the frames per second are pretty much bang on, 48, 49 FPS, so not much difference there. And then uh, looking at the multiplayer, the difference is a little bit bigger, 116 seconds for the uh, SSD and 145 seconds for the micro SD. And again, the frames per second are close, 50 to 45. Uh, finally, on uh, Rise of the Tomb Raider, again, just a single player mission. Uh, 57 seconds to load from the SSD and 112 seconds. Quite a big jump there, of course, from the micro SD. And uh, so that's quite a big difference. But the frames per second is the, the same. So averaging it out uh, to uh, just looking at the uh, single player performance, because as I say, multiplayer, yeah, you're up, uh, you're, you're it all depends on the speed of the server you're connecting to. So looking at the silver player, uh, single player, and we're averaging 52% uh, uh, improvement uh, using the SSD. And that's not a huge amount, really, when you consider that it is much faster. Now, looking at this uh, micro SD card I've got, it's actually um, it's a SanDisk, uh, SanDisk Ultra Plus. It's rated at, uh, at 100 megabytes per second. Um, but, of course, looking at my Atto and Crystal Dismark uh, speeds, I'm getting around about... Uh, of 40 uh, megabytes per second, so it's substantially less. But if you look at it, you know, it's not that much difference really, and for an extra $35, I don't think it's too bad an option. Anyway, I hope you find that useful. Uh, like, subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Bye.